Hey everybody, I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of a breakdown of how you set up your DNS for your web hosting for those wanting to get started in the business or just kind of have a server that has all your domains linked to it instead of having to use all those random servers that you can point to or go to a web hosting service and have to manage with their DNS. So to start off, um, we're going to actually first need a DNS server. Uh, in my case, I'll be using an example of a WHM cPanel server running on Linux. Uh, you're going to need one domain uh, that's able to be accessed that you can set an NS or host record in. And I'll explain what those are. And if you'd like to go a step farther to figure out how to just kind of see the concept of what you do with the next domain after you already set up your first domain. Uh, if you have a secondary domain, feel free to bring it along because that's what we're going to be using too in this guide. So first off, what is an NS record or a host record in this case? Basically, it just states that this is going to be my name server. Now, there's easy breakdowns of an NS record is used to delegate a subdomain to set a name server whenever you delegate a domain. Uh, I found that from a DNS simple. It's actually a pretty break, uh, simple breakdown of it. But basically, it's just saying you're pointing to what a DNS server is. So you're saying, this will be my DNS server. Now, uh, if any of you know NS Lookup or how to use ping, just because I set a server to ns1.domain.com doesn't mean I can ping ns1.domain.com. That requires another record, and I'm not done explaining on that one, but it's an A record in this case, or a C name, depending. So, so how do we set this up? Uh, I'm going to be using GoDaddy here. Uh, I'm going to show you one of my domains, jamscripts.net. Uh, it's actually one of the main uh, name servers I use for one of my, my domains in general. Uh, so first you're going to go to the management portal. In this example, uh, I kind of just showed you the in-name servers, forwarding, premium, DNS. It's just something that GoDaddy gives me. It's a whole listing, and it's found underneath the settings tab after you open up manage on your domain. Other uh, domain providers might be a little bit different, and that's fine. Uh, it just requires a little bit of uh, looking around to find it. But at the very bottom, you see host names. So once you click host names, you can set up a name. Uh, that name doesn't have to be NS1, NS2. It can be. It can be something different like Diablo or Google or whatever fancy name you want to set to it. It doesn't really matter because that's going to be public record anyways when somebody does a who is on the domain. So once you open up like a manage, uh, you're going to go in. It's going to ask you, what do you want the host name to be? What do you want the IP to be? IP is going to be to your server. If you have uh, multiple servers, then that's better because that means you have a cluster of DNS. That means you have two servers syncing DNS records. And from there, there if one goes down, the other one will still be working. That's always a positive. But in my example, I have actually one server, but it has two different IPs, so I use both IPs. Uh, in my example, I also use uh, NS1, which is abbreviation of name server 1, name server 2. Like I said, it does not have to be these. It can be Diablo Home, Google Server, I hope this works, something, something, something. Usually you want it a little bit short, so it's quick and simple, and people can type it in quite easily. Okay. So after you set up your NS records, uh, it can take one to two hours to process, uh, up to 48 to 24 to 48 hours, but usually it's pretty quick. It's quick and simple. Now, after you set those up and you know they're live and they're at least working in general, you can actually go to your name server section on your domain and change your name servers. So in my case, I set up uh, an NS record and a, or a host record, whatever you want to call it, as NS1 and it was for the domain gmscripts.net. So what I typed in for my name server that I'm changing to is ns1.gmscripts.net and then ns2.gmscripts.net. I didn't have to type in the IP because that's what my NS or host record is supposed to do for you. Now, before you change over the name servers, one thing you do want to be wary of is that that domain is set up on that server before you do anything because then basically when you change it over, it's just going to be like nothing found, nothing found. You'll get weird errors. Uh, sometimes you'll get a 404 or 500 because it's not pointing or your browser will just say uh, no record found. <laughs> so please be aware of that and make sure you set that up. And what I'll show you that in a second here. So uh, for setting up uh, the NS record on your domain uh, server or your DNS server, sorry, it's going to be under DNS setup. Uh, the example is from a WHM or cPanel host. Uh, what I'm doing is going through the steps of setting up the server. Upon setting up a server, it asks me for what do I want my name service to be. Now, this is where I get my IPs. Beforehand, I already knew what my IPs were, so I set them in already. But what you do here is you type in your name service, so ns1.jamscripts.net, ns2.jamscripts.net, and do a sign IP address, a sign IP address. Upon setting those IP address, it'll tell you what your IP is or what IPs it's using. Now, there's also another option for an A entry. I talked about this earlier. 
A entry is what you use for figuring out what that IP is or pinging it. Because just because you do a reference to NS1, a GM scripts on out, or a lookup or NS lookup or anything, that sort, you're not going to get anything back unless you know what you're looking for. And if an A entry is not there, you're not done probably find it unless you know how to search up NS or host records. Same thing for ping in this case. So upon signing IP, you'll get your IPs. So you'll go back to the GoDaddy panel in my case, set in those IPs for those name servers. They have to be all done at once, so be aware of that. Um, and then from there, if you have a secondary domain, this makes it much quick and simple now. Since I already had my NS record set up or host records, I just have to go to the new domain. So in this case, it'll be gbgmscripts.com. Upon going there, I'm going to change the name servers. I don't have to set in NS record or host record. I just change the name servers to ns1.jamscripts.net and ns2.jamscripts.net because that server has my DNS records on it. I don't have to make a host record for every single domain just to point back to that IP. You set one domain or two domains, specific IPs for your DNS, and then you just make references to it. And then that reference is done through name servers. And again, please make sure that domain is set up on that name server or the DNS records are at least set up on that uh, server so that the site actually loads upon changing. Now, upon changing name servers, I didn't mention this, but it can take 24 to 48 hours, but it's usually pretty quick for uh, within about one to two hours. Now, some hosts use a higher uh, uh, timeout, so it might take longer. Uh, you can usually find the timeouts when changing the name servers, or you can search it up, or they'll give a who is, or some information on it. But it's always different on depending on uh, who you're using. And finally, if I missed anything, or if you think I was a little bit too fast on this, uh, please leave uh, some questions or message me down below. Uh, I'm here to help. I hope this uh, solved a little bit of uh, the questions that might be about for you guys, and I hope you have a good one. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please leave a comment or uh, like below. Um, if you want to keep up with all activities on the channel, click subscribe. And if you would like to watch another video, there's some videos listed down below here. And thanks for watching.